Hello everyone and welcome back to the inside of the Ash Tunes Camper. Right now it is about 8 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, June the 6th, 2019. Got that pesky wisdom tooth pulled yesterday and I am still sore, swelled up, suffering. It's hard for me to eat and I really don't feel like getting out and doing anything today. So I figure this would be a good opportunity to go ahead and do that weird VHS review that I promised a few weeks ago. And of course, you guys voted on... Return to Oz. The creepy, kind of dark uh, 1985 movie made loosely, I think, as a sequel to the original uh, Wizard of Oz. You know the one with Julie Andrews in it as Dorothy? Well, uh, this one was made some 45 years later and draws a lot more from the creepy source material of the children's book written by Frank Baum in 1900. 85 years before this movie was made, so things with The Wizard of Oz tend to spread out, way out over the years, and and this one has definitely become a cult classic, though I think Disney tries to deny it and hopes that people forget about it. They will never forget. So to join me on this one is... Clatters, the Trash Panda. Everybody give it a round of applause. C Clatters is back for another movie review. And you wanted to see this one. This is the one you voted for. Well, <laughs> I think you might be a little surprised at how grungy and dark this one is. Uh, so, uh, I'll don't, don't worry about him. He's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> Hush, my darling, don't fear, my darling. The lion sleeps tonight. Don't mess with him. Don't... Clatters, don't mess with him. Okay. Alright. So, uh, apparently you're feeling pretty brave today. Hopefully that will come in handy when we get this movie going. Alright guys. Clatters is back. Here we go. Return to Oz. I have never seen this one before. What's that, Clatters? You want to do the honors? Alright, well, have at it. Can you pick it up? Having a little trouble there? Well, there we go. You got it. All right, let's get it on in there. Ah, get, 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 get on, get in there. All right, Clatters, good job. You got it in. Woo, good job. Okay. All right. Here we go. Whoop, there go that arc. Yay! Return. Return to Oz. Hear that ominous music? Uh, um, are you over it yet? I tried to warn you. I, you even voted for it, and I gave you a little bit of a warning. Okay, well... Come on out, come on out. So, what was the thing that really got to you? The wheelers? The wheelers to you were more terrifying than those flying monkeys from the first movie, wasn't it? Yeah, they were pretty bad. The imagery in general in this movie was very, very dark, very ominous and creepy. And it really sets the tone early on because Dorothy, of course, nobody believes her that the the uh, land of Oz exists. They're all they're even saying, if you got back with the ruby slippers, where are they? Why are you not wearing them? And so they actually take her to a mental institution. That's the way the movie starts, guys. The, our hero, little girl, little Dorothy, is taken to a mental institution, strapped down to a bed and almost subjected to electroshock therapy if, with old 1900s type of equipment. Very weird looking stuff. Wow, just at the beginning. Well, you've got to have something positive to say about the movie, right? Okay, well, let's hear it. No, you're right, it does not drag. No, it doesn't drag at all, guys. Every bit of this movie keeps things moving forward. There's always something happening. You see, you always, you never wonder what's happening next. What's happening next is happening. It's just, it's moving. 
right? <laughs> so even if you're sleepy watching this movie, you're gonna stay awake to see what to see it all the way to the end because it, it 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 keeps things rolling, pun intended. <laughs> Look at that! I got you laughing. Okay. Uh, so what else? What else did you really like about it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack, uh, Pumpkin Jack, apparently. Uh, must have inspired Jack the Pumpkin King from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas because they they have very similar looks so their characteristics are very very different um, but they, they they have a very similar look and also the gump you liked the gump the gump was cool the gump uh, if you guys it it's a uh, pretty much a moose head I guess a gump is what they call a moose in the land of Oz it's a gump head that has been mounted onto the wall, but a magic life powder um, is sprinkled on it, and it's given a body. The body is a antique couch, and it's given wings, which are big palm leaves, and a tail, which is a broom. And it flies our heroes to safety, and it has this, this dopey kind of um, slow attitude the whole time. Very likable character. And uh, I didn't know, I didn't think he would be like the st a standout character. In the book, he's like, like Eeyore. But uh, in the movie, he's more of, kind of accepts his lot in life and, and decides to, uh, to be okay with it. So I liked, I liked the gump. <laughs> wow. Um, the effects in this movie were very 80s. It was a lot of stop motion, a lot of practical effects, a lot of makeup. And it just, it was awesome. It was very awesome. As much as it terrified you, you have to admit, Clatters, you have to admit this was a very entertaining movie. Had a very satisfying ending. And all in all, you know, very happy. Despite its dark tone, a very happy, upbeat, positive, um you know, work towards your strengths and do what you can kind of movie. Our hero was a little girl. A little girl that, that makes it out of danger by being friendly, making friends, recruiting people into her, her group, and um, making it through. Reminded me a lot of a Studio Ghibli type movie. Or like the Golden Compass kind of thing. The great, what do they call that? The Incredible Journey type movie? Yeah, this was definitely a very classic Incredible Journey type movie. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I can totally recommend it to anybody. Except maybe really small children. <laughs> the imagery is still quite terrifying. Alright, Clatters, do you think you would watch it again? You look a little, you look a little pensive. You would. It terrified you, but you would watch it again. Okay, Clatters. <laughs> You're a strange one. You are a strange one. Guys, if you've enjoyed this uh, movie review, please don't hesitate to indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to ding that... Go ahead and do it. Ding that bell icon. And um, leave something down in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.